Inside Edwill is your front door. Nice large living space. You could open this up a little bit more here to your dining and kitchen area. You have two good sized bedrooms and a full bath. This room here is 12 by 12. And this one's 11 by 11. And your full bath. Decent looking vanity, the sink's cracked though. Um, go to the basement, which is partially finished now. Um, lots of space down here, it's a full basement. On this side of the stairs, you got a living space and mechanical room. Older carrier unit. And your hot water heater. Looking fairly new. I do see some like disconnected plumbing. Looks like it switches to PVC. Um, some plumbing repairs will be needed. And then there's also mold along the baseboard, so I don't see any kind of waterproofing. We probably we have to tear up at least a foot of the drywall at the base around the whole basement to make sure we have a good waterproofing system. And there's two bedrooms framed in down here. Again, you see mold here in this corner. And a full bath down here. Your finished space down in the basement, uh, between 6'9 and 6'11 finished, so right at about 7 foot unfinished. Um, one thing I haven't seen down here, the electric panel, and then we'll go to the upstairs. Hmm. It's a hundred amp panel. Upstairs. <laughs> Currently split into two nice sized bedrooms. Pretty large actually. Um, and it's definitely large enough to finish into a master. You can see these ceilings up here are really nice and tall. This room is 12 by 15. And at the highest point in the ceiling, it's nine feet. So nice open feeling upstairs. And it's the same 
Same height in this room. This room's a little smaller though. Since 12 by 13, so 